Hey everybody, if you are going stir crazy, we've got a treat for you today. I'm Jennifer Marks, the editor of Home Textiles. Today I'm with John Bellavo, CEO, COO of Sinomax USA, and we are going to get a tour of the plant in Nashville, which it has sprung into action uh, to help out in the COVID-19 crisis. John, what's going on? Hey Jennifer, um, a lot actually. This has been a uh really different time for us. I, uh, we're celebrating our 20th year in business, uh, Sinomax as a company, and it's kind of an odd business to transition to, but uh, because we're a mattress producer, we've gotten several requests to respond to COVID-19 here in Tennessee, both in FEMA, uh, Army Corps of Engineers have asked us, can you change gears and make hospital grade mattresses, which we are doing. Uh, we're doing uh, today, as a matter of fact, you'll get a preview of that in a little bit, uh, but we've done some remarkable things. I, I can't stress the ownership of our company and the dedication they have to our employees. As you know, we're a Hong Kong based company, but we made a over a $30 million investment here in Nashville and a sizable investment in Phoenix. And as a result of that investment, we're putting Americans to work and we have Made in America products now, which it's being extremely well received. Um, As we're I recall, using, I think, don't you uh, pretty much fulfill all or or nearly all of your U.S. retail orders through the Nashville and Phoenix plants at this point? We do. 100% of all our retail partners right now are fulfilled out of Nashville or Phoenix, um, and so it's it's been a challenging time, as you know, uh, trying to transition, but. Uh, the ownership's been great. I mean, we had a, a tornado come through here last month and immediately we teamed up with one of our retail bed in a box co customers and uh, donated a thousand mattresses to the people in Nashville that had, there were about 250 homes that were destroyed and we just donated those mattresses and our ownership didn't think twice about it. So, you know, hats off to my CEO, Frank Chen and his, uh, his boss, our global president, Eric Chung, they've done a, just a remarkable job and not only responding to this, but to the communities that we operate in. So what's happening in the factory today? Oh, well, let me show you. I think you'll find this kind of cool. Hang on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there you go. So we are pouring foam right now. You can see it uh, in the far distance there, it's coming down the tunnel. And that foam will go up onto that gantry, that, that big blue object right in front. And then it will go into this wrapping space in the background. And that wrapping space is 100% um, for curing time, which is anywhere between 48 and 72 hours, depending on the foam. So, we are that we're our cutting foam right now. You'll see it right here. And as a matter of fact, this is I don't know if you can see that white foam right down here. Let me see if I get down for you a little bit. Yes, that I see foam is, that, that is actually being cut for hospital grade mattresses right now. Um, and did you tell you could, me you're putting microbon microband into all the the hospital grade mattresses? We are. We're putting microband in all the hospital grade mattresses. Um, you can see the line right now is, is making them. They're all waving down, I think, to you, maybe a little bit. Um, and this is, the, this is the actual the hospital mattress right here. And then what we do is we compress and roll it, and then we ship it to the agencies that contracted with us for it. Um, yeah, we're, we're very busy. Uh, this has been a, uh, we're fortunate to have great retail partners. Uh, our big, our three main retail partners are still open, which is fantastic. And, um, you know, the supply has been good. And we actually went as far as to make microban a standard in our foam. Uh, we're also, we were gonna have a market week announcement about making um, a license agreement with 37.5, which is a technology that is pretty unique that we got in the medical channel exclusively for us. It's um, it's the ability to uh, keep your body temperature at 37.5 Celsius. So it's temperature regulating. 
Yeah. And also keeping the humidity level at 37.5 as well, which is the perfect ideal humidity for comfort. So we and thought adding that into the into the mattress along with microvan was a great idea. Okay. Um, we also we also transitioned gears here. I'll just show you one thing that because we're a chemical company, we're pretty innovative. We make our own hand sanitizer. So oh, cool. we're we have the ability to um, supply you know our entire factory right now which is what we're doing um, we're not selling it for resale but we have in some instances donated it to some agencies that were in demand and really needed it in a heartbeat this is one of the products that we've been developing that is going to be at costco uh later in a couple months called cool, cool fusion copper but the cool fusion is uh is a pcm a phase change material and it's got it's embedded with copper so we know we know what copper does. We know our, we have a new announcement too about Cupron technology, which is this technology on the fabric. Cupron's been uh, a great partner to us. Chris, Andrew and I had a call about an hour and a half before this Zoom call about making the technology exclusive in foam for us, ah. which will be a, a game changer in terms of that, that type of um, additive that no one else will have. So it's, it's been a uh, it's been a really good, uh, I would say, stressful but good last sixty days, and I feel like our company was out on the forefront, uh, taking some really good measures. You see, all our employees wear masks. Um, people who choose to wear gloves wear gloves. Most people do. Um, some don't, but we do wash our hands. We do have a great policy in place for our employees. Um, they. We take a, a survey every morning when they start. We take a survey after every break. Uh, we definitely have not had, and knock on wood, any cases here. And it, it's Tennessee is going to reopen in about, uh, I think, May 1st, so a week after, a week from this Friday. Um, we'll you, hopefully get back to normal. I, I can't imagine what it must have been like to swing from disaster recovery with the tornado that blew through Nashville, which everybody, you know, saw and heard about straight into the COVID pandemic. Um, uh, how are your people kind of keeping the morale up and how are they, how are they adjusting to all of this? It's, it's unbelievable. Um, we track our attendance every day. It's the first thing I look at in the morning. Uh, and our attendance has averaged in the last four weeks over 96%. Our employees want to work. They, they take preventative measures. They're great employees. It's the same thing at our Phoenix facility. They are averaging 98% attendance. So we, again, we've done some things that uh, for our employees that I, I think is the right thing to do. We try to practice social distancing. Our breaks are all staggered by production line. Uh, so our break rooms aren't crowded. Uh, we just we've done the right things, and I and we were on we were out in front of this on March fifth was the day that we actually started implementing all of those. That is great. And ha did did it take a while to be able to hook up with the proper agencies and FEMA and and how did that process work? Yeah. So our uh, our sales and marketing team has done a incredible transition. They they immediately on March fifth started contacting uh, local state governments, federal government. Um, we have a couple employees that are based in New York that reached out to uh, Governor Cuomo, to Army Corps of Engineers, uh, FEMA, state of Tennessee, uh, state of Louisiana, state of Texas, state of Connecticut. And you know we've already submitted samples. We're getting, uh, we're getting mattress orders for hospitals. Uh, we don't see it as, you know, a long-term solution, but we feel like we can help and we have the capacity to do it because our other retail partners are closed. So we have yeah. the ability to deliver now. Yeah. And for the two new announcements you made today, the, the two new product um, innovations, I think you said the coupon is, is already on its way to retail soon. Um, what about the temperature regulating 37.5 right it's a development we're but we i expect by september we'll be in full development on uh medical grade 
37.5. Okay. Anything else going on there that we should know about? Uh, well, you know what? Let me, let me, I think our line wants to uh, say hello. So let me just turn the camera and there we go. Everybody, made in America. Is that game better than this? <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for the tour. I appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Jennifer. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.